And number two, we're going to bend both knees gently, and you say when. I'm using my stomach, push her thighs into her chest. Inhale and exhale, and breathe. So that's good enough, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to switch. We're going to strain one leg. We're going to keep the knee in. It's still stretching that Stay, sorry. and the stretches look across her psoas. Inhale, exhale, and then we're going to go right Stay, into the hamstring. The hamstring, you communicate, and we can do mobility stretches and flexibility Talk stretches. about your body position, so we're doing, too. I'm um, using my leg with my foot right here oh. to anchor her leg down so it doesn't come up, so I can stretch the other leg. And if I wanted to really hold you down, I could also use my leg and my hand. And she says when, so say when. When. Okay, that's when. And then we did a little out to the side thing with the hamstring. Mm -hmm. really Go ahead. Good. This is really good for your lower back. Uh -huh. Because the Are you breathing, Maria? Uh -huh, and she's holding hamstring, my... glute, lower back, all connected. Mm -hmm. And then we did this, which is like a pigeon, modified pigeon stretch where I'm pigeoning you. Go ahead and finish. No, I didn't do this to you, though. No, but I'm doing this to okay. you. And then this is a little glute stretch. Inhale, I'm using the force of my body weight with my shoulder, pressing down on your butt. So I don't get hurt because I learned how to use my body weight to stretch people. And then we do the lower back, so you can keep your arms a little higher. Inhale and exhale. And this one you keep your foot And this right is here. the doggy who's actually the coach right here. And then we just go across. So you're pretty flexible here, like you would do better up on a table where your knee could go even lower to really crack. So if I wanted to try to really crack her, I might push on her butt and pull on her rib cage if she left me. In opposite direction, yeah. yeah. That's another creating opposition. And then we also do the hamstring off to this side. It's another lower back. Good thing is all this hamstring flexibility and mobility. And then the other leg, we're going to bring the knee in first. That one stays straight out. The inhale, exhale, and breathe. I'm using that leg. My foot right there is holding your leg down. Okay, and then this is really hard for her because of her running, the quads are really tight. So then I'm stretching this, and she's gonna say when on the hamstring stretch. I'm using now my hand. I could also use my foot to stretch your hamstring, and then you say when. When, and then we went out a little bit to the angle here. A lot of hip opening. And then we're going to go oh, even so deeper good. into the glutes now with this modified pigeon stretch. And just so you have it on film, the other way I showed you to do this is the figure four stretch, which is just like a number four that you form with the body here. And I, I did this by pushing against your knee and pulling against your other knee. Uh -huh. Do you feel that oh, yeah. in the glute? Feels so good. Oh. And then the other way is I'm just going to press right here. And that's right across the glute. And then we go right into the lower back stretch, which is like this, inhale, exhale, all the way down. Again, she's very flexible here, so I had to like have her on a table for her to get a full, the knee mm -hmm. even lower, to mm -hmm. get the benefit of this stretch. Mm -hmm. Most people, not so. And then after this, we straighten this leg out, just to get a different angle on the hamstring. Glute stretch. And then I'm gonna have you sit all the way up and do forward bend. So reach up, inhale, exhale, reach forward, and breathe, and relax. So this is where you can take opportunity to be really nice to your clients and give them a little back rub if you want, as you're sort of manipulating their body forward to the most that they'll be comfortable with. You never want to force a stretch. That's how you tear ligaments and joints and tendons, which you don't want. So from there, we'll have somebody bring one knee in and one leg straight. So we do one hip. No, first this one. One hip and one hamstring. So reach up, inhale, exhale. We did this two ways. We had to reach for the hamstring, and then we did a little lower back twist on it where she brings the arm inside and you reach for the foot. And that really feels good on the side body as well. Good. And then you switch legs, and you do the other one, and then you reach up, reach forward, and then drop your shoulder down, reach over, and then the soles of your feet together, the butterfly stretch. And so this one you can 
ask the client to move their elbows to sort of open their thighs while you're sort of massaging their back and pushing them forward to their degree of comfort. Larry, are you getting all of this? Mm. So this is opening up the hips. She needs a hip opener. The difference in the position where you keep your feet determines whether you're more stretching the lower back or the hips. So if you bring your feet forward, you'll be more into the lower back. Now we did the last thing, which is a spinal twist. One leg straight, one leg up and over, and then you grab that knee and you create the opposition. See, I'm putting one shoulder here, and I'm putting one shoulder there, so that's how I'm creating this twist. And then you walk your fingertips around a little bit more. Yeah. How's that? Okay, nice. And switch. And I even feel it in my hip. Good. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. So you're pulling on one I'm pushing and on one pushing it on, on the other. Okay, take one more selfie and we're done. Uh, uh, Can me I, stretching with her or both. A Just still. Stand up.